mission statement. It don't take all that. I beg to differ. It depends on what you're building. So I want to talk about a mission statement today. You know, these are the intricate details to really building a really aligned and amazing brand. And it's also some of the stuff that people skip. They don't think it's necessary. And it's not, not for every business. Every business doesn't have to have a mission statement, but those businesses that are really wanting to build legacy and be in alignment and really operate in their 3D essence and bring harmony to what they're building, a mission statement is important. So I wanna talk about uh, a mission statement on today. And you know, first I'll start with asking you a question. Let me know in the comments, does your brand have a mission statement. I want to begin defining more definitively some of the things that I do in the work that I do with clients and maybe some of the videos that you've heard me share and talk about just to kind of simplify some things a little bit and uh, bring you a new level of understanding as you're building your business and your brand. So for simple terms, your mission statement is your big why. Like, why are you doing what you're doing? What What is all of this that you are building all about? It's your big, compelling why, right? So I wanna talk about some things that having a mission for your company does. Number one, it dictates what you do daily. If you have a mission, it dictates the type of activity that you do each and every day throughout your business and your brand. Number two, it defines who needs to be on your team. What does your team look like? Your mission statement will define those things. It will help to make all of those things you know, easier. Uh, number three, it defines who you are as a brand. So if you can like nail that mission statement and look, it's not something that you normally perfect the first time. Many people, I've seen mission statements that are really, really long. Your mission statement is about two sentences, actually. It takes some time to really perfect it. It may change a little as you get more clear and understand more about what it is that you're really doing, what it is that you're really building. Your mission statement is a solid decision-making tool. So once you have gotten clear on what your mission is for your brand, it helps you to make decisions. What type of events would you go to? What type of investing do you need for what it is that you're doing? What type of classes and courses will you take? What type of money are you gonna spend? What type of photo shoot you gonna do, right? So the mission statement is like some of that core central stuff that's wrapped in what I call your brand's DNA. Your mission statement also tells what marketing strategies you use. It's so powerful. And so, yeah, some people feel that it doesn't take all that, but I, I beg to differ. I believe it depends on what you're building. Now, as a part of helping my clients to really work through and walk through the framework of creating the mission for their company, I go through examples of major brands that would be recognizable to them in the practice that we do. So today I want to share with you one that I think mostly anybody who comes on and views this video can understand and really see how this thing works. So we're going to use Chick-fil-A. Not everybody eats from Chick-fil-A, but a lot of people do. I could have done um, Louboutin. I could have done Tiffany. Um, YSL, um, Gucci, which is one of my personal favorites, but I could have done any of those, but this is something more common that we can really, really see and visualize how their mission alone has evolved into their brand. So here is Chick-fil-A's mission statement. Their mission is to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us. This is what they're mission statement says, and to have a positive influence on all who come in contact. Sounds really simple, but when you look at who they are as a brand, they're closed on Sundays. Everyone knows that they close on Sundays for that particular reason. It's just their form of respect for their belief and their faith. Um, they've been good stewards, right? Because listen, they've got several different locations 
all over. They done franchised it and all the things and they're consistent. And to have a positive influence on all who come in contact with them, their customer service is superb. It's superb. And so we can see by just Chick-fil-A's mission statement how it has been a decision-making tool for them, how it has defined their marketing, how they decide who they're going to hire, all the practices, the things that they learn, the things that they go deeper on. I'm sure that behind the scenes of the Chick-fil-A brand is continuous and constant support for their staff and learning more about leadership and training and you know what customers need and deserve and desire and how it will align with what they are wanting to do it helps to dictate where they spend their money and their resources and what are the most important problems and solutions that they solve as a brand now we know they sell chicken right they sell chicken but the chicken is the product but it's not necessarily the brand now, the product needs to be in alignment with the brand, which should all be in alignment with the mission, but many people say it doesn't take all that, but I beg to differ, right? It depends on what you are building. Oftentimes, the people, the women that come to work with me, they want to build legacy. They want to build something that's purposeful, that they're in alignment with, that's fulfilling, that's long-term, that they can really live into. And when I owned a brick and mortar service-based business, my mission statement helped me with my staff meetings. It helped me with my hiring, you know, just really defining my big compelling why. And as I share with you, it, it's, it's this thing that evolves and it's not always something that you get first try. Matter of fact, I don't have a student to this date and I've been coaching for over a decade online coaching and full-time for the past four years and I haven't had a student who just wrote the mission statement and that's what they stuck with but it's, it's this pr process that you actually walk through to you know really get an alignment with what your big compelling why is but it really defined a lot of things for us um, it made things a lot simpler we weren't guessing all of the time. It was so easy to say yes and no to certain things. And then it dictated what we did on a daily basis. Now, your mission is often confused with your vision, but your vision is this long-term, more lofty thing that you desire and your mission really connects to your daily operations and what you're doing in, in your business every day. And so your, your mission should, for your brand, should contribute to a problem or a solution that your business or your brand solves. I deep dive on this as part of the work, the body of work that I've created inside 3D Success Academy. And if you are looking to build something 3D, right? Something that really um, embodies your 3D essence, something solid that you can really live, evolve and grow into. 3D success is the ultimate growth track. It is building the foundational portions of your business from ground level to, you know, your 10K level that will help you to evolve and expand as you move to even new levels. It's that solid foundation that you build. I'd love for you to join us. I'll leave the link here somewhere around this video more than likely in the comments so that you can look at the details and see how in alignment it is with you for those of you who are really wanting to build something amazing and something that's purposeful and in alignment with who you are the people that you want to attract the money that you want to make and the problems and solutions that you want to solve in the world so a mission statement there are people that say it doesn't take all that but it depends on what you're building.